It's the time of year, of course, when Christmas light displays are being unveiled all around the country and some are more intense than others. And if you need a bit of incentive to step it up at your place, Allianz is this year giving away $1,000 to the best lit-up house in the country. Sounds pretty good. And to give us some tips on how to get started, we are joined by Chief Festive Officer, Jamie Jury. Jamie, what on earth is a Chief Festive Officer? Well, well I have no idea, <laughs> but it does involve greenery, so I'm, I think I've got that part covered. Well, it's a CFO anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. It's a different CFO. CFO is not a title I've had before. But no, there you go. Embrace this one, though. Yeah, yeah. It's very good. How how are you guys? You're good. We're good great. Good. What about you? You brought a bit of festive spirit? Well, I have because um, I think a lot of people don't realise that, you know, to actually decorate with Australian native plants is, is a beautiful thing. You know, we all think it should be, you know, kind of conifers and pine cones and all that sort of stuff. But I've knocked up this little, uh, this little Christmas reef here using 100% Australian native plants. I've teamed up with my mates at Allianz. Um, and this is Spotlight Your Sparkle. So it's really just about embracing Australia's... Uh, ability to decorate their homes externally and internally, but the competition means that funds will go towards a charity, not just yourself. Fantastic. It's a yeah. really great idea. So it's not just about how many lights you can put on your house, you know, Griswold style. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. is about design and bringing, you know, the style to your home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, and it's about, um, so photographing anything that you like. You might want to light up a tree with Christmas lights. Um, and I think, you know, actually embracing the shape of our Aussie native plants is a great way to go. Mm. Um, you might want to do a Christmas reef like we've done for the front door. You can do anything you like, really. Uh, the kids can get involved. You photograph it. You get onto the Allianz website. Um, you, you put in your, your little, uh, I guess, uh, entry, and, uh, and it, you go from there. Lots of different varieties in your wreath here. Have you flogged a few of those from the neighbours, or is that all I, your backyard? You will laugh at this, but I actually knocked on the neighbour's door Did and you? asked oh. whether I could actually take some of her kangaroo paws and she's like Jamie of course you have yeah. and then you know she loved what we did so it was really fun yeah, it was great nice. fun and I love the way that you know it, you know Christmas and the Australian style that we bring to it is really yeah. great because so often we've kind of put the fake snow up and yeah. tried to sort of emulate that European style but exactly. we're really taking it into our own with yeah. our own Australian style yeah though, aren't we? And, and I think that's what the team at Allianz are actually trying to do. They're, they're trying to say, hey, guys, we're in Australia. Let's celebrate, you know, Christmas in an Aussie style um, and be as creative as you like, um, be as eco-conscious as you can be. I mean, solar-powered lights are a, bit, a great way to go these days as well. So, um, and, and be proud, be Aussie. It's interesting you touch on the solar there because that is a big issue for a lot of people. Mm. They, they do like the idea of having their own Christmas lights, but it can be damn expensive, one, buying them, two, powering them. But this is a different way about it. I mean, I don't know about you, but I love going down those streets where the entire street is all lit up. But mm. let's face it, you know, like it, it, you, could, you, could, you, could, you could light up Vegas uh, in some of the houses we've seen. It's, it's just huge. So attaching solar panels is definitely the way to go. But I think also this house is just amazing. Um, we found these guys uh, out outside French's Forest and they're just he just does this every year and he donates all of the proceeds to charity which is quite amazing yeah um, so yeah solar powered lights LEDs are the way to go too because they don't heat up um, you know the, the one the old ones that heat up are actually quite dangerous yeah and a lot of people don't check yeah. the individual bulbs when they bring them out Christmas you know, a year style. later yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and definitely don't try to wire them up yourself it should be low voltage no electrician required. No, no extension cord. <laughs> yes. From no, the uh, bathroom leading out the yeah. window, <laughs> up the ladder. Exactly. Shouldn't I not be doing that? Uh, no, oh, okay. absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Do you light up your house, Deb? Um, I don't light it up with lights, but we definitely decorate. We put the tree up on the weekend, actually. Oh, yeah, so nice. we got the tree out, we got the uh, the decorations up, all the kids got involved with it. That's so, the way. yeah, it's good really stuff. great. It's a great time of year. Beautiful. Fantastic. Love it. Well done. Thanks for Thank you. Again. We'll put good all the details for the competition on our website if you'd like to enter as well. Awesome. Thanks.